And now let's talk about growth hormone. Growth hormone has uh, quite a bit of debate going on about it right now. The conventional wisdom is that growth hormone deficiency can only occur in children. So obviously, if you're grown up, you, you've produced plenty of growth hormone and you don't need any once you've grown up. And this study was done in 2008 uh, showing the levels of growth hormone in traumatic brain injury. And really interesting study, um, they found that uh, uh, persons who had undergone a traumatic brain injury actually had a dramatic reduction in other hormones throughout the body. And uh, this can be linked to a, also a lower level of growth hormone. The study showed that 80% of these patients had uh, a reduction of gonadal hormone deficiency. I'm sorry, they, they had a gonadal hormone uh, loss, a reduction up to 80%. 18% showed a growth hormone deficiency. Uh, 16% showed an, an adrenal corticoid deficiency, and 25% showed a type, uh, some type of pituitary hormone deficiency. So very fascinating work. Um, in other words, and traumatic brain injury can be uh, even as small as a very mild, uh, non-reported car accident that um, a person may not experience much trauma initially in the first 24 to 48 hours, but over the long run, the uh, reduction in hormones can be quite dramatic. And let's talk about uh, growth hormone again. Uh, a common scare is that growth hormone replacement can actually stimulate cancer to grow. Um, I mean, growth is growth, right? The growth hormone can actually stimulate a stray cancer cell to <clears throat> take off somewhere. Is this fact or fiction? Well, finally, a uh, Oxford study that was done um, in 2006, they found that growth hormone replacement in children who were cancer survivors show no evidence of new cancers, which is profound because these are children who, uh, despite their prognosis, and given the growth hormone, they showed no evidence of new cancer growth. The study also showed recent surveillance of children and adults treated with growth hormone in general. There was no increase in observed risk of cancer.